Welcome lab coders to uh, this today's a webinar. We've been doing them all week this week and today we are live here with Jason Horkamp and How's that's going, it's guys? pretty pretty awesome to have you live on here. Ironically, just so everybody <laughs> knows, Jason and I are actually we play in each other's backyards basically. We're in the same town um, in Minnesota. Absolutely. And um, Jason is running an amazingly successful team, and uh, we're bringing him live today to talk to him a little bit about what he's doing that is so successful, and specifically, um, a lot of you that are, are hopefully logged on to this, I, I'm, I'm trying to get on so I can see all the comments on here, but um, are on here to hear about you talk about lead gen and what you do and what you're having success with, maybe even sharing a few of your failures if you want to go there and sure absolutely why not yep absolutely so so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna I, i'm gonna be looking like i'm not looking at you but it's because i'm trying it's to get up here um but let's kind of start with you know what uh let's hear a little, little bit about your background how big is your team what are you what are you running and um just kind of share a little bit about yourself to give it some background yeah, so um been licensed really since 2002, but actively really selling uh, full-time since uh, 2007. Uh, started off at uh, another company that their predominant color around the country is blue, and now I'm with uh, Keller Williams, so I've only made one switch in my career. Um, as far as team, um, it's grown substantially. Um, we're currently sitting at, uh, last year we did 50 million for 187 units. Uh, this year our goal that we're pacing for is 80 million for just over 300 units. So um, it's been a fun ride and it really is a team thing. It, I couldn't do it without them. It uh, has very limit. It doesn't have a lot to do with me besides the vision. They're 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 doing most of the work. So, um, and okay, we are live here on on Facebook now, so I've got it up, awesome. and pe people can put their questions in if you guys have questions awesome. for Jason. Good, yeah. Yep, take the time and leave us your questions on here, and then um, let's talk a little bit about your team. How? How many do you do like the typical KW structure where you've got, you know, your buyer's agents, your listing agents, like what, how are you running that? Because that's probably going to play a little bit into the lead gen flow. We, we did at, at first up until till about a year and a half ago. Um, and for me personally, if there's one thing that I could have changed, it, it would have been to let the agents be dual agents, if you will, the whole entire time, which is what they do on the team now. So um, it's really, you can do listings or you can do buyers and you can do that right off the bat when you're on the team. So everybody can do everything. And it, it gives, uh, you know, let's be honest, listings at, at times, especially right now are, are far easier to do and handle than, than the buy sides. And because of that, it's nice for those agents to have the easy part of the business and maybe even, you know, the buyers being which we love, but they can be slightly more challenging just because of our lack of inventory that we have here in the Twin Cities. So, yeah, well, and across the board in the nation, I mean, that's yeah. inventory is nuts right now. Yep. yep. Um, and where we are at, just to give people a little bit of um, background, our average price point here in Minnesota is kind of in the mid to upper 200s. So, 250 to 270 would be mm -hmm. about the average price point especially in the town that we're currently in that's it's about average so when he's talking about volume and units um, that's kind of the the midpoint yep yep absolutely so let's talk about um, you know what what are you using right now where are you kind of spending your money Mm -hmm. for that lead gen and um, I know Tristan had um, specifically called out realtor.com yep. when yep. when he posted and um, let's let's just kind of hear your background on that and what you're doing so as far as you know we do like yourself we do a ton of lead gen but you know as far as the online stuff that we're actually paying for uh, we do realtor.com a very limited Zillow and then it's um, some Google PPC that we have Sync, which is Commissions Inc. They run that for us. 
along with some minor Facebook spend that we have with them. Uh, that's the stuff that we pay for. Any of the other stuff that we have, it's, it's basically referral based where if you're a big enough agent with them, sometimes there's entry fees that you have to pay, but um, you know, then you're paying a 25 to 30% referral on that other business. But really the, the stuff that we're paying for, for the most part, 90 plus percent of it is, is from realtor.com of the, the stuff that we pay other than the PPC. So, okay. So. Okay. And for you with running realtor.com, um, have you, how long have you been doing that? And have you kind of tried things that do and don't work for you? Yeah. Um, um, I know I, I, I personally, I've done a lot of the swear, the, sure. the, the Z word. Yep. Um, <laughs> but I haven't in. actually, yep. I haven't delved into realtor.com at all. And, but I've, felt that there were some things that were working with us when we were doing it and some things that didn't work for us. And I'm sure mm -hmm. you've had that experience. So I want to hear a little bit about that. I think the big thing that I tell people with whether it's, you know, Z or R or whoever you want to say, I, I think the big thing with all of them is you really need to be comfortable driving down the freeway and be willing to throw $10,000 out your sunroof and that not bother you. <laughs> <laughs> and if that doesn't bother you, like these are perfect lead generation websites for you. And if it, I'm serious, like if that at all gives you like a pit in your stomach, this is just not the game that you want to play because it's a long term play, right? We see there's tons of these leads that don't do anything until after seven months. And mm -hmm. so, you know, really because of that, it, it, I, I really have a cautionary tale of don't do what I do because you think it sounds sexy and fun. Um, you just got to have the money to back you. And we started relatively small, but you can't do that anymore. I mean, we've really been doing it for about six years and there's no small anymore. I mean, six years ago with, with each of them, the leads were probably 20% of what they are right now. You know, I mean, if they're a hundred bucks a piece, they, you know, they were 20 bucks a piece, you know, type mm -hmm. of thing. Yeah, so that's where it gets hard. I mean, when you're going to go with either of them, you got to have a th thousands of dollars that you're going to spend a month and mm -hmm. be do willing to do that for six months. So if you're mm -hmm. a brand new agent, unless you're on a team, it's probably not going to be what you want to go down and do, you know, not to burst anybody's bubble, but I just want to give people real value here. And hopefully people can learn on this from my failures you know there's other things that we've done that haven't worked and you're just like oh there goes that money so yep yep well and i think too if you don't have a follow-up system in place when you start doing those kind of leads and you lose track of leads you let maybe don't answer the phone when you should be answering the phone the, the calls never come in when it's a good time no. right and so you have to have enough people there that can help you when you're going to take on a high level amount of leads yep. that can pick up the phone and that are willing to literally drop everything that they are doing at the moment and run out and show a house. Yeah, no, totally. Um, and you, you know, some of the biggest spenders with Z um, quite frankly are right here in the twin cities. And, you know, I know from talking <laughs> with people on these various teams that, you know, you, you really need to follow up with the leads as fast as possible. And a lot of people have said, Hey, it's five minutes. Like you hear that five minutes just thrown around, you know, arbitrarily and five minutes might've been good. Like 10 years ago, then it was five minutes in my mind, it's under a minute. And when we track stuff, we're getting to people in under 30 seconds. Okay. So yeah. You know, that that's a big thing. It's, it's under 30 seconds. If you're not getting to them and it's a phone call. You know, it really is. We double dial everybody. They come in, we dial them twice. And, you know, obviously they answer the first time we're talking with them. But if they don't answer, we're calling again. Because yeah. they have my number, but they see it coming through twice. We find that we get about 30% more contact on our first calls by double dialing. So it's just, it's crazy. And so explain what double dial is for people that don't understand that. So not like, Noel, you come in on 123 Banana Street, the lead comes in, where, whatever source it comes from, and it gets routed through the CRM or the management system. And I see it come on my phone and I'll call you. And you don't pick up for whatever reason. And I don't leave a voicemail then. I'll call you immediately right away again. 
-hmm. And then you're 30% more likely to pick up on that second call. And I mean, we've made a ton of money last year just by doing two calls. Yep. Well, and it's, you know, that's the thing too. You might notice that some spam callers do that lately, right? You see a, a number that comes through, you don't pick it up. Then the second time that number comes in, you're like, uh oh, is this is this a call I should be picking yeah. up? Maybe this is somebody that I know, and it works. Yes, yeah. no, absolutely. It's uh, it, and then it's really what you do from there. Like they automatically get sent a test a text message immediately when they come in, regardless if we get a hold of them or not. And in addition to that, they'll eventually get sent an email, and then we have a follow up system for them. Because if you don't have a follow up system for them, it's just not going to work. I mean, the average person with realtor.com or anybody, I mean, you're lucky to convert 2%, probably maybe three. Mm -hmm. And really in order for it to be at all profitable, you need to really be converting six to 8%. And if you don't get that high, it is really, you know, so we're talking six to eight closed transactions out of, you know, really a hundred. And if you're paying, you know, whatever it is, if it's $7,500, $10,000 a month or more in a lot of cases for leads, mm-hmm. then um, yeah, I mean, you, you better be converting them about that speed. And I mean, that's the one thing about like a team like yours or a team like mine, you know, that's a benefit that, you know, new agents can have if they really want to get on and see what that's all about with a team like either of us have, then you, you know, align yourself with the team and, Um, there's a lot of good learning experience that you can have. And I think that's really important for anybody is just what they can learn from being on a great team and having a good onboarding process and not be like I was, you know, 15 years ago or whatever it was. It was like, all right, here's a phone. You should call people. And I was like, what? I mean, my first year in real estate, I made $13,500 gross. Like not, not that that's gross, but it is gross, but like a gross (laughs) number. (laughs) you know I can feel the pain and um, now it's uh, it's it's it can be easier I guess for agents if they get on really good teams if they if they don't want to just do it on their own you know teams are kind of brokerages within a brokerage at at some level so it can be a really Mm -hmm. good experience for people too not to dive off on that but yeah no, absolutely. And I think um, just the way that our world works these days, there isn't really a phone book anymore. People don't want to answer their door necessarily to door knockers. And so this tech stuff and the way that you follow up and getting the online internet leads are in some ways the best way to get started in the business and the best way to start as a new agent to just get it going. And, you know, with our... Um, Zillow leads, we use them as a way to also grow our sphere because yep. hopefully those leads that we're converting, the ones that we have, a, you know, they have a great experience with us. They then start referring to us, their friends. We start marketing them on social media. And so you do also have to look at it as that way to expand beyond the network that you're in front of and expand beyond who you're surrounded yep. with, with your sphere and hopefully pick up more you know, additional sphere through these online leads. Yeah. And that's one of the biggest reasons that we do with anything with online leads is because we're using it to grow our data bank. That's why we're using it. We specifically want to grow that, you know, I call it a data bank. Uh, Actually a friend of mine, Lance Loken came up with that term to the best of my knowledge. A lot of people will call it a database. Uh, Mm -hmm. So we really, we want to grow that data bank as fast as we can. And then it's our job as agents to really build a moat around that castle, if you will, that make it hard for the Z's or the R's or the, you know, the open blanks of the world to come (laughs) and get between us and the commission. Because that's ultimately, you know, what we're looking to do as agents is how do we have as many people as we can. And, and I look at it as, K N L or K N or K L T. So know us, love us, trust us, right? That's how anybody that's in our database, they got to be one of those people. We, you know, we, that, those are the people that we heavily market to. So it's, you know, the know us, love us, trust us. And they don't have to be, they don't have to be all of them. They just have to be one of them, you know? So um, I think it's important to really have a strong uh, database that's full of those people. 
Absolutely. And running, um, you guys are great with client events. I know that yeah. you guys do that a lot. And um, having those kind of things where you can connect physically in person yep. with, with your sphere. Is, yeah, that's a huge thing. And we didn't do it before we came to Keller Williams. But, um, you know, we have at least four client events every year that we're inviting everybody to. We just had our last one, which was uh, to a movie theater here in Burnsville in the Twin Cities called, uh, we went to the, I think it was, it was a date night that we had and it was a new uh, romance movie that came out, but some kind of funny off the, I forget who's in it, but cause I didn't watch it. I was out dealing with clients, but um, so we do a, a date night every year. Like last year we did it right around Valentine's and we had, you came and picked up a take and bake pizza. You had, you know, pop and stuff like that. We'll do portraits in the park where we'll get four photographers to come and take portraits of families. Uh, we do a pie giveaway and then it's kind of a floater. We'll do Santa Claus or something like that. Um, but really the date night and the pie event have been our biggest ones. And then we usually try intend to do a movie event for kids every year too. Like last year we did Incredibles too. And we had all the incredible characters there, a bunch of kids from high school that we paid to do that. So it's creating those relationships and building that moat. You know, that's what mm -hmm. it's about. So. Yep. Yep. Well, and then that's also helping you. So if you're recruiting or recruiting, I, I kind of actually consider when we do online Legion, we're kind of hopefully recruiting almost ambassadors for our business, right? People that are going to come in and have that experience, then they come to your events, they hashtag your events on social media, they post pictures, then their friends see it. I mean, that's kind of where we've had a lot of our success. I obviously am yeah. on social yeah. all the time, but my teammates now are also seeing the value in that, that these, these Zillow leads, which I just literally missed one while we were talking right now. And thank God I've got a team, right? So yep. we're all on a, on a uh, round robin yep. or not round robin, a blast dial, right? So if a Zillow yep. call comes in, it goes out to my, my entire team and who it's speed to lead. Whoever picks it yep. up, gets it. Um, and I can hear my teammate out there talking to the lead right now while we're sitting in here. But the, the goal is that these people are hopefully going to become our friends. Part of we're recruiting our clients here to also be our yeah. ambassadors and then go to this stuff or have a great experience and then hashtag us and share it, put it on Instagram um, and, you know, use it as a way to grow your sphere. Yeah, no, that's a that's the yeah. main reason why we do it is, you know, it's to build our sphere because we track everything, we track all of our leads, you know, that come in. But let's say that you came in, for instance, through realtor.com and then a year later you all of a sudden referred us another uh, maybe your best friend, what you know, what have you. You referred us your best friend. Well, we would look at your best friend, say Ann, and we would say past client referral, but then we look at the original source. And we'll back that up by saying it's realtor.com. So, mm -hmm. so and it's past yep. client referral and then it's realtor.com <laughs> because that's really where you can, especially if you do this long enough, where you can look at ROI of any source, whether it's paid or unpaid, is looking at really the original source and where did that person ultimately get to you from. And it might have been just past client, but if there was an original source, we're tracking that. Absolutely. Well, and tracking is essential. Tracking is essential when these online leads come in and making sure that you're keeping track of where they are in the drip campaign or whatever it is that you're using and where, the, you know, what type of lead are they and whatnot. And then tracking that original source is it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Yes. But if you're not going to do that, you're not going to take the time to keep track of exactly what you're doing. Like we said, it might not be worth the investment. Maybe that maybe online leads aren't for you. Yeah, uh, no, totally. You got to have, you know, you got to have some sort of a CRM and it's got to be, it, it can't be, um, you know, a Rolodex that you used to set on a desk. It's got, it's got to be something that really is monitoring the activity on that CRM by the potential clients and how many times they've looked at a house when you get logins. I mean, you really have to have, you know, whether it be commissions, Inc, Firepoint, Command, you know, Boomtown, which we've had, top producer from realtor.com. There's all sorts of options out there, guys, that you can use that range from top producer from realtor.com is probably the least expensive, you know, other than if you have a brokerage that gives it to you for free. Um, 
and then you can go up from there and like commission zinc that we use I, I think it's 1475 a month and boomtown is right about there so i just all, yeah i just got rid of my boomtown firepoint which yep. you know gabe yep. is amazing and you know that's the other thing too is if you get a crm or something where the the people are heavily involved in technology they are in the trenches with us and they are responsive that's important too because if you run into an issue um you know for us personally with having a team within a brokerage and running a crm like we we deal with that where we maybe have a different more unique scenario that we have to have help on with support mm -hmm. um yeah. yeah, it's picking the right person to partner with. And I think the whole thing too, you can do really well with online leads, especially, you know, there's plenty of YouTube tutorials about how to go and go onto Facebook and get leads, you know, a lot of times for under five bucks a piece. You just have to make sure that you're being specific enough with your message that you're not so broad that the quality of the leads is way, way down. But even with those leads, like from Facebook, you really got to anticipate that for every hundred leads that you get, if you're average, you're gonna be 2% on a lead to close transaction rate. And if you're really awesome, you might get 10, so. Yeah. Um, so here's a question for you. You mentioned YouTube. Mm -hmm. who, who do you watch for that? Who do you, who do you like? Do you wanna share no, that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I don't know him at all, but I, I like people like Josh Smith, you know, he's got the GSD um, where he talks to a lot of prop top producers, just like, um, you know, we're doing here. Um, he's probably been the main one that I've watched. Um, there's, you know, some other coaches out there that you kind of watch here and there. Um, I'm blessed to be part of maps coaching and, you know, I, I kind of follow some people that, you know, do maps coaching and see what they're doing and how they're, you know, really um, managing their business. But um, I'm just always out there searching. I never stop. I think that's the one thing that you have to realize in any sort of legion. I mean, I'm constantly out searching, like, where is going to be the next hot thing? You know, because I know that some things that worked great 10 years ago, those people, you would say the name and people would be like, what's that? And mm -hmm. so you got to constantly be evolving and moving. And that's the only way to really keep growing and living, frankly, I guess. So. Well, and constantly, I mean, constantly re-educating yourself. And that's yes. something that you have to be okay with in this industry, especially. It's just never going to go back to the way that it traditionally was. This is the way that it is now. And you have to be okay with yep. learning some technology. You know, I was just talking about that this morning with my people at my uh, brokerage because honestly, for me, tech is not something that I love. It's not super comfortable for me. It's, it's really tough. But when you are bringing in these cold leads, you have to have some kind of attack and you have to be running some kind of campaigns to keep up with it and to keep up with the leads that, you know, the 98% of the leads that don't answer, yep. they're not necessarily dead, but you do have to have a way to um, you know, keep going with those leads so that they don't all just yeah. Yeah. I mean, so what do you do? Is, what do you do for that? Do you have your, <laughs> do you have your own drip campaigns and things that you're running that yeah. you've designed or are you using? We you have know, our own stuff that, that we've designed that sits in our, you know, our current CRM and it would sit in a CRM in the future. The other thing that we do on the backside is uh, we use a company called shout boss. Uh, there's some redundancy because they're actually leaving a voicemail for us right away. Uh, they're sending texts, they're sending um, emails, and they're doing it based on the lead source. It, it'll go down and it'll say, um, you know, so-and-so, you required about 123 Banana Street on Realtor.com. Just want to see if we can answer any questions. So it's sending out those all automatically for us. And that hmm. really has helped to be you know, a game changer. And uh, again, it's shout boss. I, you know, I'm not here to push them on anybody, but they're, you know, I don't get anything for saying their name, but they're, they've been good for us. And we have, um, you know, agents that'll convert pretty highly. I mean, we, we just got a message. Are you there? I just got, yeah, I just got a message that my internet is unstable. So I'm moving, I'm oh. moving with you. Oh. All right, yeah, there we go. In my conference room. Yeah, you kind of went away. So I wasn't sure what was going on there. I was going <laughs> to mention something, but I didn't know if I should. Um, I don't know what's going on. It says it's recording, so I guess hopefully we're all still there. So, yeah. 
Um, and as far as um, what was the rest of that question? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I was asking you about your drip campaigns because I, oh, yeah. you know. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then really we look at it as we're really calling that client or that potential, that consumer rather, we're calling them every pretty much 24 to 48 hours for 21 days to see what, okay. we, can, to see what we can do to get in front of them, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And now I'm, yep. I, I should be back. I'm sitting out in my main area now, so it's sure. going to be kind of loud. We got a oh, collaborative okay. environment here. Um, okay, so we've been on for about a half an hour, which is yep. kind of what we were uh, game planning for. Yep, absolutely. Is there, is there anything else that you could think of that you want to add that maybe is just some useful info or useful intel for people? I think the biggest thing is for people that are maybe even just getting started, because a lot of people I'm sure are that are watching this, is your, the best CRM that you can possibly have is going to be the one that you use. Uh, best thing that you can do for yourself is to find somebody that really is a good mentor. And that could be, you know, someone in your office or it could be being on a team, you know, so go get a mentor. I wish I would have really done that right away. And I think pick up the phone, you know, really, I mean, show me somebody that actually makes 20 meaningful contacts a day, whether it be family, friends, leads, and I'll show you somebody that's going to make at least in our market over a hundred thousand dollars a year if you're making those meaningful contacts. So it's yeah. a contact sport. So just go out and do it. Door knocking. Yeah. I mean, open houses. Show me somebody that does any of those at a high level and looks on the internet for different ways to master their craft, and they can go out and make a bunch of money in this business and provide opportunities for their family and um, hopefully others and. Be charitable with it. Be a good steward of what you're earning and making. So, yep, absolutely. Got to do the work. Yep, got to do the work. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on My and pleasure. joining us. I'm sure that we'll have you back and uh, have more questions at that Sounds time. All, All right. right. Thanks, Jason. Yep. You too. Bye bye. Bye.